What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be breaking down the U-Trips offense, specifically something that you can use to beat the meta Mike Blitz 3 label coverage, which I think you're still going to see a lot in Madden 22. And the play comes from the Y off trips pads. We're going to be going over the play pads drag wheel. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, my name is Cody and my channel posts videos every day that can help you become a better Madden player at this game. And in this video, like I said, we're talking about the U trips or the Y off trips pads. The play we're going to be going over is patch drag wheel. And if you're enjoying these videos on the U trips formation, I would encourage you to get uh, my true fan membership. What my true fan membership is, is basically it's every single week I post my most up to date offensive scheme, my most up to date defensive scheme, and my most up to date or uh, my my ba my basically my uh, film analysis on um, my film analysis on pro players. So. You get all of that content for just five bucks a month. So if you want to learn exactly what the best of the best in the community are doing, I would encourage you to sign up for that. I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. Now the play we're going over is patch drag wheel. And this is a lot of, this play is really, really fun. Once your opponent starts to, you know, really kind of begin usering on this side with their user, this is a concept that you can really work uh, that works really well. Uh, and basically it's, it's relatively simple to set up. All you're going to do is you are going to put the tight end or the X receiver on a quick out route, just like so. You're going to put the R1 receiver on a hitch route, just like that. We're going to then take the square receiver and put him on a curl. If you have hot route master, you can feel free to put him on a post route. I personally love the curl route though as well. And then with the back out of the backfield, I will typically put him on a little uh, flat route, just like this right here, just to keep him out of harm's way and basically allow for better space. And you're gonna motion that across and snap him right about right there. And what you're gonna see is against every zone coverage in the entire game, your hitch is going to get basically wide open. Whether they're on five, uh, 10, 15, 20, it doesn't matter really what the zone drops are. Uh, what matters is that their user at the snap of the ball is going to go to the square receiver. And this is very common uh, when people defend the U-trips formation, a lot of people like to go to the square receiver. This is why I also like to use a, uh, a simple hitch route when we use this motion because it's gonna kind of, um, it's just gonna kind of force them to have to stay over there. And what they're going to want to do is they're going to want to follow with that post route. But as you can see, this little hitch route right here is going to be a really nice little, um, just a nice little underneath pattern that we can utilize. Now, if you want to leverage the power of the curl, then you certainly can. Again, if you don't have Hot Route Master, put him on a curl. You won't regret it. But what you're going to see happen is they're going to expect a lot of traffic to this left side. And we're actually going to give them a nice little high-low read on the back side of this formation. So what you'll see is when we motion this across, then you're gonna have your tight end as a quick read to the flat. So if you wanna uh, hit, you get a nice little concept here between the circle receiver and the tight end. Both routes are really, really good against man and zone in this formation. And what they're gonna force your opponent to have to do is they're gonna force your opponent to have to um, at least put a zone over here. So if they want to use her on this left side, then we're going to force them to put a vertical hook on the right side. So I just want to kind of show, um, you know, kind of what it looks like whenever they have that adjustment. And you're going to see that it's probably going to play this little curl a little bit better. But what you can do is then you can come back here and work your three man snag concept over here on the left side. So the beauty of this is this beats the, the living daylights out of Mabel coverage. And if you want to, um, let's say that they're running and you're starting to notice that they're doing a, a setup that is essentially this right here, and they have this vertical hook on the right side, then what you can do is a simple concept that I like to, basically I, I like to do this with out of off of the same motion. So uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put circle on a, um, on a little out route I'm gonna put the X receiver on a curl, and then I'm gonna continue with that hitch and that flat combination on the left side. So it's gonna look essentially something like this right here. And what you're gonna see is because we've motioned that slot across, that slot cornerback gets dragged inside and he can't defend the quick out route 
to the circle receiver. So this is just going to continue to force them to play you know, more underneath coverage, and they're going to have to play more flat coverage, which is going to then continue to open up this middle of the field. And honestly, this vertical hook is not a great look. And one other way that we can get around it, um, one other way that we can get around it is through the power of this post route. So this is where, again, we force their user to have to sit on this hitch. So he's going to start on the post, and then he's going to work down to the hitch. What's really nice about this post route is it's going to drag across the formation all the way to the sideline, and you can basically pass lead it down and away, and you're going to have an easy read on the sideline. So a lot of really simple little things that you can do from this formation that will absolutely obliterate, you know, if they go to some type of meta, you know, kind of Mabel coverage little deal where they're, they're going to have to stay on square and then you've got some easy concepts underneath that are, you know, basically the same concept. Another little trick that you can do with this play is if you take the R1, it's a very similar motion, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to curl the square receiver we're going to curl the tight end and then what we're going to do with the r1 and on this one i like to leave the running back on a, this block and release just in case there's any pressure but what we're going to do with the r1 is we're going to drag him and snap him right as soon as he passes so it looks exactly the same but now what you'll see is this drag gets really open against this formation that circle receiver is going to do a really good job of holding the purple zone and he's going to hold that yellow zone backed off so that you're going to have a lot of window you know, you're just going to have a lot of room to be able to throw your drag route. So let me show you that. Uh, another way that you could do this is if you just left the play as is, just like this, uh, or just like this right here. Uh, the only thing I, I might recommend is put the tight end on a post route and then put the running back on a ghost route. So something that looks like this right here. You could also put the running back on an option route if you want to. Um, you know, that's up to you. But basically what's going to happen is this wheel and this curl concept is going to really pull, and then you're going to have this nice little read to Brown. So if they're if they're running a lot of yellow zones where they're getting in the throwing lane of the hitch, this concept is really unique and it's really really effective. So um, this is something else that you can kind of use, where it pretty much looks you know exactly the same. It's from the same play, but now we're doing a couple of little things different. One last little tip with this play is if you re-streak the tight end, so you've got a nice vertical pull route in combination with this wheel route, you've got this nice drag route over here, I would, again, uh, really emphasize to put the back on some type of, like, option route or something like that or even better, a block and release curl. Um, those are really, really good. And then what you're going to get is this wheel route on the right side. You can basically throw this uh, to the sideline as soon as he cuts because the purple zones aren't going to react properly uh, to, the, to the underneath zone. So if, they, if they're dropping their purple zones, you're going to see that this circle receiver is going to basically take a lot of the, a lot of the zones. And then what that's going to basically mean for you is if I just throw it outside pass lead right there, I can hit on, click on and, and make a play. Now, an even bigger argument for this is a lot of people, whenever they're facing the U trips, you'll see a lot of this where they'll basically deep half on the outside and they'll trust that their you know 30 yard cloud flats are going to be able to defend. Well, this is even better for something like this. You get him over here to the sideline and then you've got a lot of opportunity to hit that route. Um, as far as man coverage go, I didn't uh, spend a ton of time on man coverage. This route to the circle receiver, uh, if you go off of our initial setup here, you know, where we do basically doing this, then what you're going to see is this circle receiver is going to do a really good job of getting off the jam. Right there, I don't know what Mike Evans was, or Brady just kind of fluttered it out there. But basically, like when he comes to the outside, or when he cuts to the inside, there's really two windows at which you can throw this ball. Uh, the first window is simply to throw it at the snap. So what that would look like would be something like this right here, get this hitch all the way out. And then what you'll see is curls up. Now right there, that's a, a situation where the press man won. And if the press man wins for whatever reason this year, they basically just screw up the entire uh, animation. So you're not able to win that. But something like, like that right there where they're fighting, if you just low ball it as soon as he cuts, you're going to get this nice little catch. 
Um, you're going to get this nice little catch on animation, even if they shade it inside. The other thing, this is another reason why I really like to use this post in combination with like an out and then maybe like a ghost, or not a ghost trap, but a, a swing, uh, is because this little post is going to get wide open against band coverage. So typically what they're going to do is they're going to use her the post route. And then what that's going to force you to do as an offense is you're going to be like, okay, I'm just going to take, uh, I'm just going to take my check down, which is my, uh, either my hitch route is going to be open or uh, my out route is also typically pretty good, pretty consistent uh, against this, but right there on the cut, low ball. And as you can see, we're able to beat the main to main coverage. So uh, if they're not pressing, so like if you're not playing press main to main coverage, this is going to be a lot easier of a throw. Pretty much everything on this play is going to get open if they're not pressing, uh, with the exception of the running back. So your out route will get open, your hitch. Uh, but the route that I like to throw most is that curl, um, because typically the user is going to go guard the post route. So anyways, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more about the New England Patriots playbook, I have a complete offensive guide on their playbook breaking down every single formation. Um, so you can get that down in the description. Or if you just want to get my most up-to-date stuff every single week, the actual uh, really deep dives into the meta, you can get that for just five bucks a month at our True Fan membership. I'm going to leave a link down in the description below for that as well. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is 208-218-6900.